Good morning, Audacious Church. As you know, in this new year of 2022, we are raising our faith and believing for miracles. We serve a miracle working God. And so we're asking big, believing big, expecting big. And we're going to see hundreds of testimonies of how the miracle working God has worked miracles in each and every one of our lives. What I want to share with you in this devotion today is a bit of encouragement um, from Mark chapter 4. It says, well, it's the famous story of Jesus calming the storm. Um, And I want to read just one little section of it. You can read it all, but it says in verse 35, this is in the message, it says, Later that day, he said to them, let's go across to the other side. They took him in the boat as he was. Other boats came along. A huge storm came up. Waves poured into the boat, threatening to sink it. And Jesus was in the stern, head on pillow, sleeping. Now, what we have to understand about this amazing story is that the miracle is the main theme. The big thing of the story is the miracle, Jesus calming the storm. But what I want you to see is just that little verse there, Um, that I read to you, two things to note, okay? Number one, it says, a huge storm came up. Now, this year, no matter what, no matter how hard we plan, pray, believe, storms will come up. Being a Christian is not a vaccination against bad stuff happening. I'm not of the opinion, right, that hell makes bad stuff happen and heaven makes good stuff happen but really just that life happens and both heaven and hell hold their breath waiting for our response to see what the outcome is. So my encouragement to you, part one, is don't misinterpret the storms when they come. Just know that life happens, but you've got Jesus in your boat, which is the second thing that stands out to me from this verse. It says, other boats came along. This tells me that in a storm, there may have been lots of boats, but only one of them had Jesus in it. So being a Christian may not equate to you living a storm-free life this year. But the reason why we can have faith and believe for the miraculous this year in the face of storms is that your boat, brackets, your life, has Jesus in it. And even when it seems like he's sleeping, silent, inactive, not doing anything. He's in the middle of the storm with you. There are many boats and many storms, but you have Jesus. So let's believe in faith for a miracle story. Whatever it is you're believing for, you need to know that as a church, we're praying for you and we're believing the same for you. And we're excited to hear your testimony. Believe big, be big, Storms will come, but you've got Jesus in your boat. Take it easy.